The sign of a true star is when a single name is all that's required, and Arnie is one of the biggest. He's had a career as a bodybuilder, a cyborg, a politician, and he continues to surprise. In fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger has forged a career in the States that few would have foreseen with his intense drive, his quick wit, and his passion about what he does. He grew up in a small town in Austria, and that's where his interest in fitness and weightlifting began. Then, when he moved to California, he played a major role in increasing the profile of the sport of bodybuilding. The world-famous Gold's Gym at Venice Beach was his office and playground. An amazing doco about that time, and in fact one of my all-time favourites, is Pumping Iron. It follows Arnie in the lead up to the 1975 Mr Olympia and Mr Universe contest. It shows his drive, the mind games he plays to intimidate the other competitors, and his sense of humour. The movie is hilarious. In his bodybuilding career, he won five Mr Universe and seven Mr Olympia titles. He's even listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the most perfectly developed man in the history of the world. But the bodybuilding stage wasn't big enough for Arnie. He wanted Hollywood as his stage. Initially, his accent was a problem. Until a role came along, he was quite literally built to play. Conan the Barbarian. You have to think global, so therefore it doesn't matter if you have an accent, because all those guys know and those girls know that they would have an accent too, right. and they maybe can relate to it better. So why get rid of it? That whole idea of America feeling like it's the only country in the world is slowly going away. Right. Because the Americans realize also that it is not the only country, that we all have to work together. Conan was his break, but it was the Terminator that made him a star. Arnie had found his niche, physical roles in action movies, and went on to star in Commando, Predator, and Total Recall. Having proved his worth in the box office, and with the knowledge that audiences find Arnie just being Arnie funny, he decided to move into comedy, starring in Twins and Kindergarten Cop. What you see in Kindergarten Cop is really much more me than, uh, than Terminator. You know, I think that to me that's difficult to play Terminator, because you have to lock into a certain kind of a character that is not me. Right. You know, you have to find that machine-like character that is not you. Or in Total Recall, you have to find that character first. Uh, in, 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 in Kindergarten Cop, that's more like me. But Arnie didn't forget that it was action films that made him a star. He re-teamed with James Cameron to make the legendary follow-up, Terminator 2. But this time, he got to be the good guy. Terminator 2, uh, it, is, it is a movie in, in epic proportions. And I think that there was such a difference between this one and the first one, just the way the whole movie was approached. I mean, we had uh, six months to shoot and we shot the biggest explosions and the most unbelievable special effects and night shooting and day shooting and this and that, sometimes seven days a week. Uh, it was a rough, rough uh, shooting schedule. Very nice. It's, not a video, it's just a movie. <laughs> what? Okay, you don't get paid, so what? In 1997, Arnie took a two and a half year break from acting after he had surgery to fix a congenital heart valve. Then he made his big screen return with an action flick, End of Days, in which he played an ex-cop who faces off against the devil. Well, End of Days was a, a, a script that was written in such a way that it had all of the elements in that, that I was interested in. It was a supernatural thriller. It was an exciting action movie at the same time. It was an e-ticket ride, the, number, the best e-ticket ride that you can have. It's like a roller coaster ride. In an almost spooky turn of events, the release of Collateral Damage, a film in which Arnie plays a firefighter who loses his family in a terrorist attack, had to be postponed following the September 11 terrorist attack in America, as the subject was just too similar. The film was eventually released in 2002. Hollywood does not have a moral code because that's not what Hollywood is about. Hollywood does not make movies uh, for, you know, trying to be morally correct or this or that. Hollywood does movies the way real life is. Uh, and uh, whatever brings great entertainment, whatever the audience sees, they don't sit down and say, is this morally right to do this movie? 
Uh, that's, that's not what Hollywood is, is supposed to do. Terminator was the movie that made Arnie a star, and Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, was the last movie that he did before becoming the Governator. Now, originally, Arnie didn't want to do the movie because James Cameron wasn't going to direct it, but James Cameron convinced him that he'd made the character his own, and that he should do it, and ask for a lot of money. So Arnie got to work in the gym and got himself down to the same body weight and muscle measurements he had 12 years earlier when he did T2. In 2003, Arnie turned his attention to politics and shocked the world when he became the governor of California. We the people decide if the politicians are doing their job or not. And if we decide they don't, then we have the obligation to rise up and to take the government back again and do the job ourselves. It doesn't get much bigger than Arnie, in more ways than one. In fact, he's turned everyday sentences into legendary one-liners, simply by adding his own brand of wooden delivery mixed with a thick Austrian accent. In fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger has lived the American dream. He's gone from a humble beginning in Austria all the way up to become the governor of California. And his entire history is on film for us to see. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better on screen and at mnc.tv.